Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Force, and today I'll be providing you guys with an introduction to EverQuest Next Landmark. Uh, the game just went into alpha this past weekend, and I had an NDA at the start, but that NDA was very swiftly lifted. I'm very excited because I've been having a great time. I've sunk quite a few hours in so far. Now I want to let you know this is just going to be a basic introduction to the game. I want to cover some of the bare bones basics of what Landmark is all about, the different things that you can do. I do plan in the future to provide some further in-depth tutorials, so if that's something you're interested in and you haven't already, why don't you go ahead and subscribe. But for now, begging out of the way, let's uh, go ahead and talk about and take a look at EverQuest Next Landmark. So this game, as of this point, Remember, it's in the alpha, there's still a lot to be done. As of this point, this game is about three sole things. Harvesting resources, um, using those resources to craft, and then also using those resources to build. Now we can see we're actually uh, in some other player's little built-up area. Seems like they've sunk quite a bit of time. I've got a, I've got a small little thing built, which I'll be showing you later on, but they've got a very nice setup here with a few of the crafting areas, uh, such as this forge, and, and right over here we've got this, uh, this lumber mill, and he's actually got an advanced, uh, I think this is a resource sifting area. Yeah, you can sift through. Uh, you can sift through uh, some of the low-level resources to try to get something a little bit better. Very, very cool. But yes, this game's about three things. First of which is harvesting. So what happens is when you start off in Landmark, you have a, a couple of uh, things at your disposal, a couple of tools. Uh, basically a stone axe and a stone pick. Now you're gonna be using the axe to chop down trees, using the pick to uh, harvest resources and dig into the ground. No shovel or anything like that. It's the pick and then the axe. Now also, if you are a, uh, a founder, you do get this pickaxe and it's not completely overpowered. It is definitely very strong, uh, but after sinking a few hours into the game, I've already got equipment that's better utilized uh, for gathering than this is. But the great thing is when you start off with this, it functions as both a pick and an axe, so you can use it to chop down trees as well as to dig into the ground. But like I said, I've already got some better stuff than that. So let's just take a look at that, that whole process, starting off with uh, chopping down a tree. So I've got my axe here that I've crafted, a strong copper axe. It's pretty solid. We're going to go ahead and take a couple. Oh, that thing had nothing left. Okay, let's find... <laughs> Let's find a tree that's got some stuff. Let's try this uh, this big old tree over here. So we're gonna go right up to it and then we just click on it and you start chopping away. Now you notice down over there in the lower left hand corner, you'll start to see some of the resources I'm picking up, plain wood log. Um, you also get some of the rarer resources like that burled wood log. And then also from the trees right now, you get plant resources. Now basically what's gonna happen is in the future there will be a sickle added to the game and that sickle can be used to harvest things like cotton but as of now you can get cotton and, and other plant like resources from the trees because the plants haven't been added uh, I've been told oh, you notice I just got some flax there for example and there's some cotton um, I've been told that the game at this point is about 60% complete so we're not looking at a, a fully finished product as we shouldn't expect in playing an alpha but yeah we're, it's about 60% and there's a bunch of new additions coming in over the next couple of months, uh, which I plan to follow. So, you know, again, stay tuned for that uh, on this channel if you're interested in, in keeping track of this game. Why am I so sure? Why am I so committed already? It's just started. Because I've had a blast. I really think this is a, a fantastic time. All right, so we've harvested a bunch of wood here from these two trees. You bring that uh, health bar down to zero, and then you stop getting resources, and the tree eventually explodes in this, uh, <laughs> in, in quite a mess. Uh, now, beyond that, again, like I said, you can dig into the ground to harvest resources. So I can just, at any point, uh, I might be too close to that guy's plot. Okay, so right over here. So notice how we've got this blue right now. So I, now at this point, I can start digging into the ground. Now, there are some basic common resources, uh, things like this dirt here and stones. But then there's also the rare resources. Let's see if we can gather this white one. I'm not sure if my... Okay, so this axe isn't good enough. Let's try my high-end axe right now. It's still, it's still not the highest, and yeah, it looks like I can't quite get that resources. Um, so the, the pickaxes at this point in the game range from what you start off with, which is a stone pickaxe, all the way up to a metherium pickaxe. And it looks like there's four, eight, uh, I think there's 11 or 12 different pickaxes available right now. I love, let me just run through the list. It's stone, copper, bronze, iron, silver, steel, tungsten, viridium, cobalt, indigo, mithril, and then metherium. So those are the different pickaxes that are available. 
um, it listed on the Alpha website. And as you work your way up, as you craft these different pickaxes from gathering resources, um, you will have greater, uh, greater ability. So basically you craft one level, and then that gives you access to gathering the next level, and then you, and you go up from there. So as I said, you start off with a stone pickaxe. That lets you mine dirt, sand, stone, and copper. You can then make the copper pickaxe, because you can gather copper with that previous one. And the copper pickaxe lets you get some of the basic metal and gems. And then the bronze pickaxe after that lets you get tin and um, is that tourmaline uh, and then metals and gems of a lower resource. So it's a whole progressive system where you craft one level, you can gather for the next level, you craft that level, you can gather for the next level, etc, etc. I want to see if there's any rarer ones that I can get here though. I am in a high level zone, so I might not be able to gather. I think there's a few stuff in this area that I can gather, but it looks like so far... I can't gather any of these rare gems. Uh, essentially, right now, the islands, as they're called, uh, are split up into three different, uh, three different zones, uh, tiers. There's tier one, two, and three. And tier one has the most basic, tier two is middle, and then tier three is, as you expect, tier three. And I think this is one I can gather, actually. I believe this is aquamarine. Yes, it is. Okay, so there you go. There's an example of a, a resource that, with my basic axe, let me show you my basic pickaxe here, I cannot gather this. Oh, did I just lie to you? Yeah, see? I cannot gather this with my basic pickaxe, but with my higher level pickaxe, I am fully able to. So, just a, a, a brief little example. Uh, I've decided to build my dwelling, essentially, in this third tier, because I thought, well, it's when I eventually get up to there, this will be the best place for me to be, so... Uh, that's why we started off here. But yeah, you'll start off, uh, if you don't get dumped into a tier 1 zone, you'll want to go to a tier 1 zone uh, by heading to this crystal here, which lets you walk over and select which area that you're in. And I can show you that interface, and that's what we'll do next. So I showed you a bit of the harvesting. Uh, next up, we'll talk about crafting. So we've got a crafting station right here. Basically, when you start, you're dumped into a server, you'll be you'll be put right next to the stone. Uh, this is the stone that lets you travel to the different realms, and then there's also a crafting forge for the basic level crafting. So you'll run over to this forge, uh, you'll run over to the stone, and you can see, again, the different continents have different tiers to them. And we're currently in a tier 3 continent. We are on uh, Liberation Server and Shallows Tier 3. This is where my home is, which actually I got a very nice plot located right next to the starting area. Uh, we'll be taking a look at that when we talk about building. But now let's look at crafting. So some of the basic crafting here. Uh, this is the first uh, basic forge, and this lets you craft some of the beginner items. So I talked about all those different picks, bronze, copper, iron, stone and silverstein are all the picks that we can craft from here there are higher level forges that let you craft the higher level picks so you start off with access to this basic forge and then you can from this basic forge build a marble forge the marble forge lets you craft the next level and then there'll be a forge beyond that which will let you craft the next level you can also craft your very own stone forge which is what this is and that will be used uh, for, used for use at your very own plot so you know you're not necessarily we've got this huge map here let's show it to you got this huge map here just for this one continent and if your plot's like all the way over here you're not going to want to run to the starting area to craft every single time you want to make something so you'll make your very own stone forge which you will bring to your very own plot for crafting beyond the stone forge the other thing that you're going to want to make at the start is the saw table uh, this lets you turn wood into wooden planks which uh which can then be used for crafting different things so let's take a look at some of the basic crafting stuff that you can do again we've got the different level picks there's also a higher level axe so you start off with uh, the basic axe let me bring that up again you start off here with the stone axe and then from there you can craft your very own copper axe which I have uh, a strong copper axe uh, right now I've got that second level and then again you craft the next forge that will likely let you craft higher level I don't know if there are higher level axes at this point but I'm assuming there will be if there aren't already at some point in the future some accessories. Uh, this light stone is basically like a little lamp you can cr uh, climb around with. I haven't gathered any topaz yet, though, so I can't make myself any of that. You can craft a grappling hook. This lets you literally grapple like onto the side of a mountain and harvest while, while you're repelling. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm going to craft this fairly soon. I'm just going to finish gathering these materials because I really want to see how that looks. Uh, you can turn the basic metal ore into ingots, which are used for crafting various things. So, for example, uh, to craft this stone forge, I need some of these um, copper ingots. 
Okay. Uh, there's also props here. You can make yourself a vault for storage sake. Uh, again, there's the craft station. Uh, you want to make your own stone forge and your own saw table for your own ver for your own plot, and then eventually from that stone forge you can upgrade to the marble forge. And then a building tool here. Um, you start off, this is for the last aspect of this video, which is construction, building of things. You start off with only access to a add, a delete, and a heal tool. And, and these are these are the elements, that this is basically the, the interface that lets you turn your resources into a building or whatever you want to make. Uh, but you don't have access to all the tools. You actually have to craft some of the tools. So you can craft. So these are the three basic ones that you start off with. And then in this forge, I can make a selection tool, which lets me um, basically click and drag and select a whole area and do a copy paste for quick replication of things like walls or foundation or whatever. Uh, beyond this, there is beyond the selection tool and the three you start off with, there's also a smoothing tool to smooth down edges, a painting tool, and a line tool. So those are all ones that I'll have access to in those higher level forges. Okay, so there you go, that is crafting. And then the last thing that I wanna show you today, and probably all of this is great. I like the crafting system, the gathering system. It does take a while to get things together, but the, the thing that I am absolutely hooked on in this game is building. Now I had a much bigger area prior to an, uh, a server wipe that just happened earlier this morning. I basically had this whole setup and I had this railing here going all the way along the edge and I had a few different crafting stations. And since I'm so close to the entrance, it was great because people would come over here into these woods and they would craft, uh, they would chop down the trees uh, behind me and then they'd come over here to my to my sawmill and they would craft here. And I loved it because it was like this little, it's like I had this little storefront and I thought it was really cool. In fact, as you'll notice here, it's called Forces Crafting Corner and you can put your very own greeting as well. So right now, uh, after the server wipe, it, it, I didn't wanna spend too much time trying to put this back together because uh, I wanted to show you a little bit of how that process works. So I've got my very own things here. Again, this is my plot and I can actually show you, uh, I can show you that exactly if we go to, what am I doing, game settings? And then we go to view my claims. This lets you see my claimed area. So you start off with a claim flag and then you lay a claim and that gives you this box. And there's also a buffer zone so that people can't put claims too close to your claims. Notice that buffer zone all the way around here. That's what that is. But this little box right here, this is my claim. In fact, we can even see it on the map here. There's my claim, there's that buffer zone. Now, in my claim, I can build whatever. I can do whatever I want. And eventually, as you progress uh, through the game and you uh, get, get access to different things, you can actually levitate in the claim, uh, which lets you craft much easier. Right now, I have to claim on foot. I kind of like claiming on foot, to be honest with you. I don't know. I, I kind of like the way this whole system works, but uh, yeah, you'll eventually get to lev levitate within your claim to craft things up high, for example, so you don't have to run all the way up high or whatever. But anything within this vicinity, I can construct. Now, you can also construct stuff outside of it, but the difference is here, so let me go like this. Let me just take some dirt and, or I'll just take some grass and I can go like this. I can just put a, put, put a grass cube right here, there you go. The difference though, is that someone can come along and they can pick at it, and they can ruin it. So when you're not in your claim, you can still lay certain stuff down. There's some tools you can't use. You can't use the healing tool, which is basically restorative, and you, and you can't use the deletion tool. Uh, but someone could just come along and do this, and they ruin your whole thing. Oh, how terrible. But when they're in your claim, when someone else is in your claim, they cannot delete your stuff. So you are safe to build whatever you want, and you don't have to worry about anyone destroying it. And again, you also have access to more tools when you're in your own claim. Is this something that I can harvest too? All right, let's try Let's try with a higher pickaxe. Again, I'm in a tier three zone. I'm still gathering at a tier two. Um, so there's definitely a lot of resources here that I can't gather at the moment. All right, so let's take a look at the crafting. Here we are in our zone. I'm gonna get rid of this box. Um, get rid of the box that shows my claim though. Uh, just so you guys can see like the background and stuff because it's kind of cool. This is a very pretty game. All right, so let's lay down some more stuff. This is actually beautiful because it's it's getting to be evening. All right, so we're going to go here and I am doing a wood diagonal plane baseboard. So basically, let's, let's go through this step by step. You go into here. This shows the resources that you have with, with which you can craft. So they're, they're broken up into metal, wood, stone, and there will eventually be liquid as well because they will be adding water to the game. 
So these are the resources that I have right now. I've got this iron ore, tin, and copper. Although I don't want to use these, I typically don't use these precious metals for crafting uh, buildings because these are used for constructing things, uh, you know, like new pickaxes and stuff. So I don't want to waste that on here, but I use all the wood and all the stone because that's pretty much, it. they're very easy. These are the common resources that you have tons of. So we've got the, the plain wood log, the dirt and the stone. You just have all tons of that stuff all the time. These more precious stuff, again, I'm not using those for basic crafting. You can though, I could use some of this aquamarine and, and put some aquamarine walls in if I wanted to, but I don't want to do that. So it's broken up into these three sections and then the different uh, types that you have of each, the metal, the wood and the stone stone and eventually liquid. There's also a shape tool, so you go with the basic cube or sphere, but then there are corner tools available, which you won't need to use these once you have access to the line tool, uh, which is again one that you can craft because the line tool lets you do this to greater precision. And then lastly, templates. If you if you constructed something that you love, you can save it as a template so you can quickly replicate it in the future, um, which is good right now in the alpha when we worry about server wipes. Uh, make sure you're building your templates after you're done building stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and put down some wood flooring. I'm using the diagonal plain wood planks, and here's our tool. So we can make it big and small. We can also on the fly switch. Um, we can on the fly switch from sphere to sphere to uh, square or cube but if you want to go any of the other ones you have to go in here for those but yeah you've got the access to on the fly switch between these two which is good because this is the two most common stuff that's used anyways all right but we're going to be using uh, we're going to be using cubes and again we're going to be putting down some of this wood floor so let's bring this back up and you've got on gr uh, off grid and then on grid so notice it's a little snappier when i'm on grid I can go up here and, and we've got like exact snappiness. If we turn it off grid, there's a little bit more movement. Uh, so on grid is good if you're trying to build stuff really fast and get a lot of stuff down. Uh, off grid if you want a little more precision. All right, so we're gonna put some stuff down here. And the square, you notice how it changes the number in the upper left uh, right there when I go into greater size. That shows you how much of the resource you're going to use and how much you have at the bottom. So we're gonna make this big so we can cover a lot of area. And we're gonna go like that and we're gonna go like that. Now, why do I have this floating structure here? Well, because you can, and because it saves me a ton of resources. So what I can do now is I can go to a heal tool and I can get rid of this whole under layer and we're gonna go from 806 available up to 2000. So uh, basically what I'm doing is I'm just building a base level here and then so that I don't waste all these resources because it's unnecessary to use them for that lower level, I restore them with the heal tool. And this is what I'm doing. I'm constructing myself this nice little, this nice little area for people to come over and craft and I'm freaking loving it. I'm having an absolute blast. So yeah, I showed you, we do some of that baseboard. Let me heal this up again. Get some of my resources back. It can actually be, it's a little tedious to, to try to do what I'm doing here, unfortunately, um, be because it's not, it doesn't always go how I want it to. Like sometimes it'll snap up too, too tall and then I won't get all my resources back and it can be kind of a pain in the butt. It's a painstaking process, but it's a process of love. One, because I, I love doing this. I'm absolutely loving this game, but two, because, hey man, this is my, this is my claim. So we're gonna try to make it as great as possible. We're gonna try to get exactly what we want, but I don't need to show you guys all of that here, but just realize that this is what I'm doing. And this is probably what you're gonna wanna do if you don't wanna waste a ton of resources by having that underneath level. So yeah, that's a, that's a bit of the baseboard stuff there. And we can go, you know, go down to the small cubes and we go down to the small cubes and just put them down like this. And the, the design that you're seeing right there, that is the design that I selected of this uh, diagonal baseboard. And there's all sorts of different designs depending on the type of material that you're using that you can use. So this is for the diagonal baseboard. And let me just show you like an example. We're gonna use the same wood, but we're gonna go uh, plain wood shingles. So let's go ahead and just put those down and we'll put a bunch of them here. So notice that's a completely different design. It uses up the same resource, but again, it's a it's a different pattern. So uh, really cool, because this lets you, again, customize and, and build the, the type of flooring, the type of ceiling, the type of walls that you want, all sorts of fun stuff. And I will likely be doing this for a couple of hours. But you know, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video isn't here for me to be here showing you 
myself doing this for a couple of hours. The point was just to give you a basic introduction. We'll do further in-depth stuff and maybe I'll show you some of my construction stuff in the future. So you can see I put up these like pillars here and I put up a railing so I could, you know, I could continue that process over here. Okay, so I'm using a darker wood for this and I was using, I believe the horizontal grain, okay. So yeah, we've got that right there. And how would I want the entrance? Maybe, I mean, I could just have the entrance go right here. So we could just put another, could just put another board. Let's try to make sure this is lined up. I really need to build my selection tool because that's gonna make everything I'm doing a heck of a lot easier. And you know what, it's a little hard to see. So maybe on my entrance here, what I can do is I can put down one of my torches. Why don't I do that? Put down a torch right here. There we go, just like that. Is it gonna light itself? I have no idea. Doesn't look like it is. I would like you to light yourself. <laughs> it's a torch, there we go. Oh, that is so beautiful. This game is so beautiful and it's a lot of fun. I'm having a great time and I think that's gonna do it for this video. Again, just wanted to give you guys a basic introduction. If you want some more in-depth tutorials, they will be coming. I plan to play the crap out of this game and I might as well cover it here on the channel Oh one last thing before we go once you have placed stuff down. That's not the end-all be-all. It's on your plot. You can move it and Beyond that you can just pick it up We can go pick it up I don't want it there at all and we're gonna put it back in our inventory and then from here oops cancel that and then from here we're gonna go like this Put it back down and then we can do whatever we want we can change how we rotate it. We can even make it, this is really funny. Make it huge! Yes, that's what we need, a giant forge. No, not really, but that's that. Thanks guys so much for watching this basic introduction to EverQuest Next Landmark. Uh, stay tuned, more footage will be coming throughout the course of this week and maybe for a long time too, who knows. Thanks again guys, keep watching and keep owning. I wonder if I can make some stuff here. I know that I can make can make myself like a chair. That's nice. I need some more wooden planks. All right. Well, I'll gather some wood anyways. That's fun. Oh, man. That is huge.